family fortunes. And tonight's families are Daniel, Ralston, Shirley Ann, Ricky, and Patricia, the George family. And they're playing Simon, Sean, Becky, Jamie, and Chris, the Smith family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. Good evening and welcome to the show. Here we are again with two great families hoping to go all the way to big money and win £3,000. And if they can find the top five answers in that game, they also stand a chance of winning this bonus prize. Yes, a brand new four-door family saloon with a powerful two-litre engine, stylish bodywork and all the latest extras. Simon, Patricia. We're in line here, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Right, first game. Top six answers in this first game. We surveyed 100 people. If you feel you have one of those answers, then press your buzzer. We asked them, apart from a train, name something seen at a station. Simon. Car. A car. Somebody might leave their car at the station to get a train. <coughs> no, it isn't there. So, Patricia, any ideas? People. People. Let's see if that's there. People. Yes, passengers is answer number six. You have control. Check if you can control passengers. Plenty of encouragement while, we're, while the person's at the lockout. <laughs> You're all going to play. <laughs> we need just to really shout out. Hi, Ricky. How are we doing? Love you, your outfit. It's great. Thank you very much. All right, what do you think? Um, I might see the track. You might see the track. <coughs> no, it isn't there, Ricky. So, Shirley Ann, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you, Les. Tell me a bit about yourself. Um, I work for a very large department store, very well known. Yeah. Um, I have. A boyfriend who has a very unusual sounding name. What's his name? It's Steve Perfect. It's Steve this... Perfect? Yes. Yeah? Are you going to be Mrs Perfect? <laughs> um, one day, hopefully. Yeah. All right, Shirley, what do you think? The, um, the, the signs to tell you what, what train's coming on the board. The board signs. The signs to the... tell you what, <laughs> coming, what train's <laughs> coming on the, on the board. Two lives have gone, the Smiths might get a chance to steal. Hi, Ralston, you're the quiet one in the family. I am, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> tell, me, tell me what you get up to. Well, um, basically, like, my main interest is football. Apart from that, you also enjoy travel, don't you? Well, yeah, there is a funny story about once I went to Paris and my friend was going to show us all the sights, and we are at Sacré-Cœur, and she points out um, what she thought was the Eiffel Tower. We reeled off a whole re roll of film taking uh, pictures of this thing, and it was only when we got to the Arc de Triomphe we realised that what we were taking pictures of was a TV mast. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Porters. Porters, you might see porters. <coughs> Good thinking, but it isn't there. So, three lives have gone, the Smiths get a chance to steal. Chris? Signals. Signals, Jamie? Platform. Platform. Becky? Kiosk. Kiosk. Luggage. Luggage, Simon, what do you think? A few answers um, there, got one of your own? We're going to go for luggage, I think. We're looking for luggage. <coughs> All right, so it means that the George family get the money and only one answer has been revealed. So you start the scoring with an amazing three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so this seems like it's a difficult question, apart from uh, a train, something seen at the station. Let's see what the answers are. Answer number five is... <coughs> the signals, number four... Is the platform. Answer number three is a buffet, of course, where you can get coffee at 50 pence a slice. <laughs> answer number two, ticket office. And the top answer, uh, that when apart from a train, name something seen at a station was surveyed, is a guard. OK, three pounds to you. Let's play on. Second question, top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something you might do during a power cut. Sean. Read a book. <laughs> <laughs> read a book during a power cut. Let's have a look for read a book. Uh -oh. It's there! <laughs> it's by candlelight. All right. Candlelight. What do you think, Ricky? Oh, yeah, you might find a torch. You might find a torch. No, so you have control of the board, Sean. What play, do you want to do? Play, play, play. play, play rejoin. Yeah. OK, give plenty of encouragement, as I say, when you're at the lockout. Now, Sean and Becky, I should talk to you together because you're, you're married. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. And uh, you've got 
something, is it a little arrival happening? Soon? Yes, in a couple of months time our first baby's due. Great, congratulations, Thank I think you. that should get a round of applause. <laughs> And what happened at your wedding? There was um, sort of a break between the afternoon uh, celebrations and the evening celebrations. Um, so we decided to go back up to our room, let everybody go home and have a fresh nap. Um, unfortunately, the best man came up with, with us, which is Simon. Oh, yeah? And they he came... didn't give you any time on you, only no. came yeah. up with you to the room. No. None, none at all. <laughs> Ordered room service, the lady came up, opened the door with the tray um, and sort of nearly dropped the tray because there was three of us on the bed. <laughs> Wow. It's taking your duties a bit too far, I think. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Becky, what do you think? Um, look for a candle. All right, let's have a look for looking for a candle. <laughs> Top answer! Yeah. And you get a prize as well. Steve, what have we got? Well, Becky, now you'll be able to film every precious moment when the new arrival comes along because you've won this camcorder. Yeah. Yes. Well played, Becky. <laughs> Jamie, what do you think? Um... Go to bed, keep warm. Okay, go to bed during a power cut. Sleep. Down to number two. Fourteen people said it. Chris, what do you do for a living? I'm a police officer. Police officer. All oh, right. Yeah. You blend in anywhere in that shirt, I should think. You know, nobody would. would know. No. I'm not in plain clothes. You're not in plain clothes. <laughs> and do you have any hobbies? Um, gardening, decorating, or. Planning decorating, really. I don't get around to the actual... You don't get around to actually do it. You just sit there and go, I'm going to do that one day. I'll paint that wall. No, I won't. I'll put another shirt on. <laughs> Chris, what do you think? Make love. Yeah. yeah. Said that very seductively oh. then, didn't he? They would. Chris would make love. Yeah. Yes, it's answer number three. Well played. <laughs> Simon? You can um, make yourself something to eat. Make yourself something to eat. <coughs> we lose a life. So, Sean, what do you think? No conferring, remember? I reckon uh, ring the electricity board. Ring the electricity board. OK, ring the electricity board. <coughs> Two lives have gone. The Georges might steal. Becky? I think go out um, and have a street party. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Becky, go out and have, with your candles, a street party. <coughs> go out. <coughs> so go out. Do whatever. Jamie. Uh, sorry. Yep, quickly before the time's up. Sorry. There goes the time. So, the Georges get a chance to steal the money. Daniel? Check on your neighbours. Check on your neighbours. Ralston? Check the gas. Check the gas? Check with your neighbours. Check with your neighbours. Ricky? Just wait. Just wait? Yeah. <laughs> Just wait. Just chill out. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> Patricia? Just sit around together and talk. Sit around together and talk. Which one are you going to go with, Patricia? A few answers there. Mine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You're ahead of the family. Stick with your answer. Sit around and chat. <laughs> chat is there, well played. Well done. Congratulations. There are no answers to reveal as we play round three. <laughs> Becky meets Shirley Ann. Becky. Right, top six answers. One hand behind your back, Shirley Ann. We asked 100 people to name a slang term for a car. <laughs> Shirley Ann. The old banger. The old banger. <laughs> Yes, it's a top answer. What are you going to do? Right. right. Clay, rejoin your family. And Rolston, do you have a car? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's, it's currently dead in front of the house. Is it? Yes, it's not going anywhere. Isn't it? No. <laughs> what do you call it? I wouldn't like to say <laughs> What do you think, then, a slang term for a car? Your wheels. Your wheels. Set of wheels. <laughs> yes, answer number four. Ten people agreed with you on that. And the answer is one of your prize. Steve, what have we got? Yes, you'll probably have to use the bus for this. You're off on an action weekend. Yes, yes. <laughs> Looks like you're going ballooning. <laughs> so take a camera and make sure you know what you're <laughs> photographing when you go, all right? <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hi, Les. You all right? Yeah. What do you get up to? Well, my spare time. I go Anything? Out to clubs. Whatever. You go out to clubs? Play basketball. Yeah? Yeah, play a lot of sport. Right. Yeah, I DJ a bit as well. You DJ? You work in a record shop, don't you? Yeah, I do. Specialist record shop. All oh, right. What kind of stuff? Well, hip hop, swing, soul, garage, techno, house. Yeah. Yeah. James Last. Who? <laughs> 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 All right, Daniel. What is it? What do you think? Oh, a motor. A motor. Let's have a look for a motor. <laughs> motor is answer number two. Well played. <laughs> Patricia. Um, baby. 
baby? A baby. Let's have a look for... Might be a slang term for a car. Might be your baby. <coughs> we lose a life. Ricky, what do you think? Mm, your ride. We're looking for your ride. <coughs> no, so two lives have gone and the Smiths might get in with some money on the board. Shirley Ann. Um, I think maybe your lift. Lift. Your lift. Might be your car. Yeah. All right. If it's there, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> We're looking for your lift. <coughs> Three lives have gone. The Smiths might steal. Chris. Jalopy. Jalopy. Jamie. Tin can. Tin can. Passion wagon. Passion wagon. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> we know where the conception happened then. Sean. Yeah. Rust bucket. Rust bucket. Cruise mobile. Cruise mobile. What do you think? There's a passion wagon. We're looking for a passion wagon. No, so once again, the George family get the money. So, before the break, the missing answers are... A buggy. Answer number five is a jam jar. And answer number three on a slang term for a car is... The jalopy, which I think Chris said, but they didn't go for it. We're going to take a break. Join us in a couple of minutes when one of our families will be playing big money for £3,000. And if they can match the top five answers, they'll be driving away in the family car. We'll see you then. We're here waiting to see which of our families is going to go through to big money and possibly win £3,000 and drive home in the car. Will it be the Smith family from Bath who have a camcorder but no money in the bank? Or will it be the George family from West London who have an action weekend and £169? Obviously there's a difference in the scores but we've seen it all change round before as we played double money. <laughs> Jamie, meet Ralston. Right. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. OK? Top five answers in this double money game. One hand behind your back. Jamie? We asked 100 people to name a sport where fancy footwork is important. That's football. quick, Ralston. Football. Football. Top answer. What do you want to do? Play. Play. Play, rejoin, no conferring. So we come to you, Daniel, for an answer on this one. Dancing. Dancing? Is it a sport? So now let's see, we're looking for dancing. <laughs> Not technically a sport, but four of the people in our hundred surveyed said dancing. Patricia. Boxing. OK, let's have a look for boxing. <laughs> yes, well played, Patricia. You have a prize as well, Steve, what have we got? Yes, Patricia, now you're cleaning up. You've won this fabulous new upright vacuum cleaner that can wash your carpets as well. <laughs> Well, there you go, we've got you on. <laughs> what do you think then, Ricky? Um, rugby. Let's have a look for, we've got football, is rugby there? <coughs> no, so we lose a life. Two answers to find, two lives left, Shirley Ann. Um, wrestling. OK, we've got boxing, let's see if wrestling is one of the answers. <coughs> no, so the Smiths might get a chance to get back into the game. Rolston. Tennis. Tennis. Let's see. So, the Smiths, you get a chance to get back into the game, and if you don't, then the George family go through to play big money. Chris? Uh, figure skating, Liz. Figure skating. Jamie? Uh, gymnastics. Gymnastics. Becky? Figure skating. Figure skating. Sean? Squash. Squash. Simon, what do you think? Chess. Uh, Chess. <laughs> <laughs> a sport where fancy footwork is yeah. used. I think we'll, we'll go with uh, figure skating. If figure skating is one of the two missing answers, you're back in the game. If not, the George family go through to big money. OK, we're looking for... To get back in, figure skating. Yes! Yeah. Well done. You're back in the game. Well done. See how quickly it can turn round in double money. You now have £172 against the Georges, 169 It's really close, and the missing answer is number five. Fencing. OK, let's play on. Hello, Chris. And Daniel. You're in a hurry there. You really walked out nice and slowly, Chris. <laughs> Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name a place you hear bells. <laughs> Daniel. A church. A church. <laughs> Top answer. Well played. What do you want to do? Check. <laughs> Play. OK, we join Daniel. No conferring, of course. The Smiths. Think of some answers. Patricia. Um, the bell ringing. 
at, at a, a reunion of campanologists, <laughs> bell ringers. <laughs> so we lose a life. Ricky. In your head. Bells ringing in our heads, or some people do. <laughs> Two lives gone, the Smiths might steal. Shirley Ann. <laughs> no? Gone. Nothing? So, the time's up, and we come over to the Smiths with a chance to steal. Chris? Uh, grandfather's clock. Grandfather's clock? Uh, doorbell. Doorbell. Becky? Um, bells on a little merry-go-round. Bells on a merry-go-round. Sean? In a band. In a band? What do you think, Simon? Doorbell. doorbell. If a doorbell is one of the three missing answers, then you're playing big money. If not, it's the George family. So let's see. To play big money, a doorbell. <laughs> no, it isn't our song, the George. You've been great contestants, we enjoyed the day. Very much so, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, You're going back you. to Bath with a camcorder and £172. So and I'm sure you're one of those, those missing answers. Answer number four is... A pub. Answer number three... School. And answer number two on a place you hear bells is... A fire station. OK, they were great. The Smith family. Trisha, you're going to play first, and Wilson, you're going to go and put the headset on, and we'll call you back when we're ready for you, OK? Mm -hmm. Right, Trisha, I ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Fine. OK. Now, between the two of you, you have to find 200 points to win the £3,000, and on top of that, if you can find the top five answers, the car is there as a bonus, all right? But you can't win the car without first getting the £3,000. So think of it that way. Go mm -hmm. for the money. Mm -hmm. All right, go a little closer to the mic. I have 15 seconds on the clock, please. Good luck. <phone rings> Name an item of clothing most people own more than one of. Knickers. An, an oil-producing country. South Africa. A sport in which a ball is used. Football. Apart from a lion, name a, big, a breed of big cat. Tiger. A swimming stroke. The breaststroke. All right, well played. <laughs> OK. Your arm, Amy. Let's see. 200 points for the money, five top answers for the car to add to the action weekend, the vacuum cleaner, and the £317 you've already got. First of all, I asked you to name an item of clothing most people own more than one of. You said, Knickers, our survey said, <coughs> nothing for Knickers. <laughs> An oil producing country, you said, South Africa, our survey said, <coughs> nothing for South Africa. So, don't worry, we've still got three answers to reveal. A sport in which a ball is used. You said, football, our survey said. <laughs> yes, 38, that's better. We're up and running and we've got a top answer already, OK? One top answer, we have 38 points. Apart from a lion, name a breed of big cats. You said, a tiger, our survey said. <laughs> yes, two top answers, we've got 70. A swimming sto stroke, finally. You said... Breast, our survey said. <laughs> yeah, 36, 106. Great, well done. The two nurses still got 106. Rejoin your family, we'll clear the board and we'll bring Wilson back. <laughs> Wilson back, Wilson. Patricia has scored 106 and found three of the top answers, OK? So if you can find 94 points, if you can score 94 points and also find the other two top answers that are missing, You'll be driving home with £3,000 in your pocket and driving home in the car. Right? 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers we've already had, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers that Patricia gave me and can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. <phone rings> Name an item of clothing most people own more than one of. Shoes. An oil-producing country. Saudi Arabia. A sport in which a ball is used. Football. Another. <laughs> Cricket. Apart from a lion, name a breed of big cat. Tiger. Another. Cheetah. A swimming stroke. Breaststroke. Another. Front crawl. OK, well played. <laughs> right. 94 for the money. Two top answers. That's it. Yeah, there you go, Ralston. <laughs> we can see where the two top answers that we need are. An item of clothing most people own more than one of. You said. Shoes, our survey said. 17 people said shoes. 
It's a good answer, but it stopped flashing, so the car's gone. That's a bonus anyway, so forget about that. We're still going for the money. We need 77, right? An oil-producing country. You said... By the way, the top answer there was socks. and would have kept you in with the car. You said Saudi Arabia. Our survey said... 14 people said Saudi Arabia. We need 63. The top answer there was 28 was Kuwait. A sport in which a ball is used. You said... Cricket. Our survey said... 18 people said cricket. We've got 45 to get. <laughs> Apart from a lion, name a breed of big cat. We'd already had the top answer. You said cheetah. Our survey said eight. Eight people said cheetah. So, on this last answer, we need 37 points. I asked you to name a swimming stroke. You said front crawl. Our survey said 12 people... Breaststroke was the top answer, we've had that. We got 175, hard luck. We're going to double that. We add it to the money that you've already got, which gives you a George family fortune of £667 plus the action weekend and the vacuum cleaner. Have you enjoyed it? Oh, you've been great contestants. Come and join us. Cheers. Cheers, Wilson. That was hard luck. We'll see you next week on Family Fortune. Thanks for watching, guys.